Pratt's idea, though. Let's make that clear that this was his idea to bring a really influential group of people together uh, from across the board and everybody that's dealing with this agent awareness slash education issue. Um, and we, we partnered with our conference in the Pac-10 and uh, piggybacked on an agenda that they had had established yesterday for all the athletic directors um, to bring everyone to our campus today. So we had a representative from every uh, Pac-10 slash 12 uh, university. We had representatives from the PAC-10 um, in every capacity of leadership from the commissioner on down. Um, Mike Slive and Greg Sankey from the SEC joined us as well. Uh, we had members of the NCAA enforcement staff and uh, Committee on Agents and Amateurism and Gambling. Uh, Julie Rolosh and Rachel Newman Baker along with Marcus Wilson and Stacy Osborne. Uh, from the NCAA. And then lastly, we had three uh, prominent agents in uh, Jimmy Sexton and Tom Condon and Rick Smith. Rick Smith. I'm sorry, yeah. And then a representative from the NFL and Ray Anderson, the executive vice president of the NFL, and Mark Levin, who uh, oversees agent administration for the NFL PA. So it was, a, uh, it was a great room of people that were willing to engage in thoughtful discussion and uh, came up with a, a lot of great thoughts and topics. I, I think for me, simply the way we broke it down at the end of the day was we looked at how we can operate within a current framework of rules um, to be effective administrators. And uh, with the current landscape that's out there, we looked at ways to build a relationship with the NCAA and with our compliance office, but more importantly, ways that we can reach our student athletes to protect their integrity, protect their eligibility, to do the things necessary um, for them to succeed on all levels uh, as student athletes. Within that framework, you know, there's, there's a lot we can do. Uh, we can communicate better, we can uh, build a level of trust, um, we can start earlier, uh, with the education process, and I think one thing that was, was evident to us is, you know, how early does that have to start? Um, different sports have different examples, but that's something we're very cognizant of and try and make a real strong effort to do that more effectively. Um, I, I think the agent perspective for us, having those folks in the room, really gave us the frontline perspective of what's out there, things that maybe we're not aware of, and, and the true reality of the situation, and where the you know, we have to work within that framework, but where does maybe that framework fall short? And where does the structure fall short? And, and that's sort of the reality of the situation. You have a framework of rules and procedures, and then you have reality. And what we discussed, really the second part of the discussion was, okay, if that's the reality, if, that, if that's the true situation, then how are we gonna do that moving forward? How are we gonna uh, best serve these athletes moving forward? And that, that conversation revolved around an idea or a concept to develop a, a national, maybe consistent curriculum that satisfies all agendas involved. And those are the agendas of all the different groups we've already mentioned that were in the room today. And, and I think there was, if one thing came out of this, this summit today was that there was a sense of cooperation from all entities to um, not only proactively educate better, but, but to look at the system as a whole and find ways to possibly do it better. So I think in leaving, I think we did have some substantive ideas and thoughts. And uh, I, I know it was in just getting the, gauging the response from, from people leaving, I, I think it was a really a, a well, a worthwhile day in, in some. It, it was a really a great day for us. And for us to take the lead as a university on it, I think was uh, really special.